Tim, I can't help but wonder, you know, you grew up in this town, you, you were at CalArts for a while. Has the talent that you get to work with, the tools that you have available, mm -hmm. is it exceeding now what your imagination was when you started? Well, I, I, no, I wouldn't say that because that, that remains the same. It's, it's just the ability to do certain things. But I, I mean, I've never really embraced technology as a way to, you know, unleash your imagination. Because, you know, p some of my favorite movies are people that made handmade things and stop motion or handmade movies and the old movies that have all that quality. And that's what you get excited about. So, you know, it's just, it's great to have these tools. You know, it's happening more and more each and every day. And, and like with this, we mixed up all sorts of techniques. So, you know, a few years ago we couldn't do that. Now, you now you can kind of pick and choose and mix and match. And, you know, it's quite exciting. I think this is your seventh film together. What is, what is it about the relationship that, that works so well from your perspective? My, well, that he's never actually watched any of the movies that we've made together. Because <laughs> if he had, then it, he, we would probably stop. Too much pressure for you if he'd actually <laughs> watched the film? No, I actually love it. I, I think I love working with people that don't like looking at themselves. I just, it's my favorite. Because I've had the other, and it's like, you know, standing over the monitor for hours, like, no, no. I, this side's big. You know, you know. In fact, his favorite side is probably this back side of his head. I don't know. <laughs> I like my. I like uh, the over the shoulder <laughs> of me when it's just the back of my head. That's what I prefer. Talk to me a little bit about working with Mia. I mean, she's new to this whole the whole mix, and she's in almost every frame. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about her work? Oh, I thought she was spectacular. I thought it was uh, um, uh, the second that I that I looked at her, met her. Um, it was obvious she was per the perfect. You know, Tim had found the perfect Alice, and uh, just yeah, just like the gravity of it. You know, when I met her, she's just like wow. You know, she had that quality of being you know young person but an old soul, and mm. just seemed like you know with a rich internal life. You know, that's not something you can ask somebody to do. You know, she just had that coming in, and so. Like you said, since she's in it, it just needed that kind of a grounding of a personality, and, and that, that's you know she has that. And she was, I mean, what a presence you know to be to be around. She, uh, you know, and she, boy, you know, having to go through some of the stuff she had to go through. Yeah, she's never gone like none of us had gone through that. No. But she, being relatively new, you yeah, know, she was great. to be sort of thrust into this sort of barren and green environment, and 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 you know, having to create something, you know, she I think uh, admired the most for that because she's mm. new to it and. Again, even if you're not new to it, being, you, you know, it, this is, was a real weird one. Yeah, she didn't bat an eye. She was just mm. right there.